B.C. Before Christ walked the earth. Before Christ walked the earth. And, and then the wicked could always rule over the righteous. And there's tons of scriptures for that. I got to sit down for that, teacher. You know, flip through the Bible and stuff like that. See, right now I'm walking. But uh, he is our God. His judgments are in the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant. See, the covenant, y'all. You got to be in covenant with him. Right? That's when you're sitting in this seat. And we said e uh, Ephesians 2, 6. He has raised us up together to sit with him in heavenly places. And then John, was it, 321? Excuse me, Revelations 321. Jesus said that we sit with him in his throne. As he sit with his father in his throne. We sit as one. All right, one. As one man. Okay. And, uh. Uh, that's that's having integrity that's uh walking faithfully and upright in the land of Zion that's the land of the Lord and we're gonna rule over our oppressors in that land so we're being strengthened moment by moment in this land that's the same land was it Isaac our brother he prospered a hundredfold that same year when you get to Zion Hey man, you 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 grow fast. You grow stronger and stronger and stronger in Zion, the land of the Lord. That's where y'all want to be. That's where your health and strength is. The Bible says, is, is there no bomb in Gilead? In Gilead, the Lord dwelleth in Zion. He dwelleth in Zion, y'all. So that's your healing ointment, right? Uh, there's no sick people in Zion. All right, that's the ground. That's the holy ground, the land that flows with milk and honey. Let me finish this, and then we'll go over there. Uh, uh, his covenant. Always be mindful of his covenant. Be ye mindful of his, always of his covenant. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Even the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath with Isaac. He had commanded the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. That's the Holy Bible, man. That's the Holy Bible. That's your everlasting covenant. Did y'all hear me? You probably gotta meditate on that. Pause, meditate, see like that. The Holy Bible is our everlasting covenant. This is the landmark. The Bible says, uh, remove, remove not the landmark, the ancient landmark. That thy fathers have left us. And the heathens did that. The heathens put it in their houses. We read that. Isaiah chapter 3, remember? Right? This is the spoil of the poor. Now let me get that. The Bible is our spoil. They spoiled us. And took the word. And, and divided it among themselves. Oh, they did a lot. The nations did a lot. I have to sit down and make videos on that show you what they what they did all of them took a piece of the Lord so they scattered them, just like they his garments when the Lord wore his garments on the cross they then they took his garments and they said they parted his garments so they did his truth like that the truth they scattered among every nation all the nations have a piece of the truth and if you got the Holy Ghost you know and what the Holy Ghost had me do but see what they did and uh and we can grab those truths from them and put it all together it belongs to christ the truths and the powers that they had belong to jesus christ and they took some of these truths i give you another big example i'll give you a big example what are you talking about king man all right let me give y'all a big example the martial arts movies like bruce lee and them those martial arts movies if you study those movies, and I did, I ain't telling y'all to do it, I did the work for you. All right. What's the main thing in those movies? They copy in the scriptures. They copy the power. That power comes from the scriptures, man. That's real power. But it comes from the scriptures. For example, the meditation that they do. The, the meditation works towards your physical body, too. 
they even try to do it they bring it to the thing they call yoga and all that kind of stuff but uh, uh the chinese martial arts uh is the best example i'm showing you uh, uh, because uh that meditation for your physical if you watch a chinese movie think about it all of them have the same plot all of them have the same plot they say you killed my teacher jesus christ is a who's teacher our teacher they killed they say you killed my teacher and i'm going to bring vengeance for my teacher ain't that every chinese movie kung fu movie just about come on now that's just about every kung fu movie didn't the bible just tell us we we are to execute vengeance on the people that what kill our teacher they killed jesus christ the heathen did so the kung fu movies is a copycat but the meditation that they do is powerful meditation of the mind that's how they get physically strong they physically strong even when they weaken kung fu they get beat beat up and defeated what they do they go back to school right they might find another teacher right uh, let's say a brother or sister in the Holy Ghost that had mastered some things like y'all you know because remember he gives the elect for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the body of Christ right for the perfecting of the saints right so they learn that how, how to be stronger in their Kung Fu right and they're fighting the military they making war right they make war right right with their mind their flesh and they become 10 times stronger, 100 times stronger, right? Than, they, than the villain. Because the villain be having superpowers too in the Kung Fu movie. Sometimes they got to find his weak spot, you know? But uh, the hero do. You know, the good guy is always good versus evil in the Kung Fu movie. Am I right? It's always good versus evil. And uh, so they go back to school. And they learn, learn this, uh, uh, how to perfect their Kung Fu. They perfect it. You and me got to perfect ourselves in God's word. His judgments. His righteous judgments. You got to be perfected in this. In order to stay in Zion and walk in Zion. Right? But see, ours is forever. We just read the first Chronicles 16 to a thousand generations. Ours is forever. I'm going to tell you, we can have heaven on earth inside our hearts, our bodies, our minds, our bones. You can, you can be painless. I'm telling you, I'm seeing this. Moses was 120, and none of his natural forces was abated. I'm seeing this. I'm just coming into it, but I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, y'all. And uh, you can wax stronger and stronger daily in this truth. It's according to your faith. And how you, uh, 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 it's according to your faith that you made whole, right? So, and, uh, and I'm seeing this. It's, it's, it's how you, uh, uh, how you see the Lord. That's, that's your portion you're going to get. It's how you see him, you know? And I, I said it last video. First day is with 523, so your spirit, soul, and body be blameless. You know, blameless. So we can be made whole, spirit, soul, and body. Perfect. I want a life pain-free. I want a life with no soreness, no aches, no pains, no arthritis. You know what I'm saying? This is me. I don't want to have to go to a nursing home, senior citizen home. I don't want dementia. You know, Alzheimer's. I don't want, you know, uh, uh, loose functions on my body and I got to wear diapers. And I don't want this. I don't want people to have to uh, uh, wash me and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And for those of you who are going through it, I understand. I understand. But you can reverse it. I believe you can reverse it. You can turn it back through God's word. Because he said he had re what, restored the years. That the canker worm had eaten. The locust. The caterpillar, And the palmer worm. The Lord said he would restore the years. You know, if we acknowledge our offenses, we restore our years. And then you get the right diet. And remember, the battlefield is the mind. That's Romans uh, 7, 
the last two verses, Paul said, with the mind, I serve the law of God. But with the flesh, the law of sin. You got to understand what's of your flesh and what's of the your spirit. If your spirit becomes your spirit of your mind, the Bible said, be you transformed, right? By the renewing of our minds, right? It's the spirit of our mind. The spirit of our mind locks into the covenant. The everlasting covenant of Jesus Christ. What the Bible said, I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. For he trusted in me. That's in Psalms, uh, excuse me, Isaiah 26. He will keep us in perfect peace. If he keep us in perfect peace, do you believe he can keep us in perfect health? Perfect health and perfect peace in a lot of ways is one and the same, man. That's one and the same. And uh, uh, you see that in 1 John uh, 3. So I pray to the Lord that, that your soul prosper and be in hell. If you prosper and be in hell, even as your soul does prosper. Don't it say that? Even as your soul does prosper. That's in 1 John 3. That you be in health and prosper even as your soul prosper. Just get rid of the okie doke, man. Like some of y'all might be attacking me right now through your spirit. You let the devil, that's the devil's voice, uh, defeat you. You got to reject those voices. Reject. Uh, 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 you're limit, limiting God. Satan wants you to limit him. So oh, you can't do that. Oh, you're getting older. That's part of growing old. That's part of, you know. Uh, that's part of life. If the Lord wants you healed, he healed. No, you got to do it. He said, Physic physician, heal yourself. You got to do it. Because he said, he sent his word to heal them. Was that Psalm 107, 20? And to deliver them from their destructions. Somewhere in there. Y'all know what's there. Psalm 107, 20, I believe. He sent his word to heal them and to deliver them from their destructions. So, you got to make war. Make war with everything that's anti-Christ. Anti Even your thoughts. Remember, the mind is the battlefield. Paul said, with the mind, I serve the law of God. But with the flesh, the law of sin. And you can't fake this. And then your flesh could be trying to save his life. Remember, the Lord said, he that saves his life shall lose his life. That he that loses his life in my name's sake in the gospel, the same shall save it preserve it so you can't hold the world and salvation at the same time you got to let one go you cannot serve two masters you got to love one hate the other you serve one despise the other and that's your warfare right there make war right with your natural man your carnal man right that's your center life make war with it make war with sin you know hate sin hate evil now look, the Bible said love not the world. That means hate it. Hate the world and the things that are in the world. Love God with all your heart, mind, body, soul, and strength. Make war. Make war. And again, coming to the end of this video, you know how I do it. I say it a couple times in video. If you if you have it, uh, you're able to send a donation, send it to the poor and the needy king, Superman. 2222. You can cash at me there or PayPal me. King Superman 2222. And I thank y'all for walking with King Superman. It's been a pleasure. Till next video, the blood of Jesus Christ be with us all and make war.